In this quick and easy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a table in Microsoft Word. So let's get going. I have all this information. It's kind of hard to read, and I think putting it in a table format will be much easier on the eyes. So how do I get a table? Well, I'm going to select below my information for now, and I'm going to go to my Insert tab. And under Insert, you'll see this table option. And if I select that, I'll get the drop down with a manual trigger to create them. I could do that. And to an extent, I can only make a seven by six table. So my preferred option is the insert table button here. I can draw a table, but I never really liked that. I think it's not the easiest to use. So insert table it is. And here I can decide my number of columns and rows. I definitely have more than five and two. So what I need is actually six columns and nine rows. And the way I determine that is any line that should go up and down is a column. Anything vertical is a column. Anything horizontal is a row, just like Excel. So with six and nine in there, I'm going to hit OK. And there we have the beginning of our table. And now I'm going to select all of the data that I want to go in this table. I'm going to hit Control C, and I'm going to select the entire table now and right click. And I'm going to paste by testing the formatting option. So one of these doesn't work. Um, the others look good. So I can keep source formatting and just paste it in like that. And that is the start of my table. It's looking pretty good. So I'm going to delete all of that information at the top. And now I'm going to adjust things to make it prettier. So what I need to do is make the top row larger. So I'm going to hover over that line under the top row and I'll get the double arrow line symbol. And I'm going to left click on my mouse, hold it down and drag. And there I've got a larger sized row to distinguish the top. So I'm also going to change the color of this top row. And in order to do that, I have a beautiful new tab here called table design that only shows up when you're in the table. So if I'm outside of the table here, I'm not going to see it. But when I click within the table, I get these two new tabs and they will help me make my table gorgeous. <laughs> so let's highlight the top row here and go to table design. And here you'll see a paint bucket and that's your shading that will fill the cells with whatever color you choose. So if I choose orange here, I've got a nice orange row on the top and that's pretty cool. Uh, also, I can change the layout here. So if I select everything and I want say client call to be in the center of that cell. It's kind of leaning towards the top. What if I want it to float in the middle? Same thing with emails here. I want them to be centered. How do I do that? Well, our handy dandy other tab table layout will help us with that. If you look here, there's some text alignment buttons so I can hit the one right here in the middle and that centered everything. You can play around with this. Um, there's different options. You can move things from different sides and such, but I like the way this one looks. So that is what I'm keeping for now. One last thing I think is really important is under table design borders. So if you don't have a border like me, or you want to change your border, you're going to do it with this borders button. So I can take away my border by hitting the drop down there and going to no border. And then I have a table that looks like that. It's still a table. It's still organized. Doesn't have borders though. I can change the borders and make them very thick and then go back here and go to all borders. And now I have really thick lines, but I don't really like that. I like to keep my lines somewhat thin and hit borders again. And there we go. So if you find that when you're trying to do the borders, it keeps switching to this border painter. So I think this is an example. So it has now switched to this border painter and I have a brush symbol. This is confusing. This always bothered me. I just go back to this option here and then I can get my selection and then hit borders again. And um, I can play around. You can do outside borders, inside borders. It's very fun. And you can change your pen color, which is cool too. So one more thing that's really important. If you want to add a row or a column, you can do that. So if I needed another line at the bottom, I can highlight everything, right click, go to insert, and I can add uh, columns or rows above or below, in this case below. So if I add that, I have this nice 
new row to add to. But what if I added it by mistake? Well, I can delete it just as easy. I highlight everything, right click. I'm gonna go to delete cells, I'll get this pop up. Now the way you delete them can change your table. So you gotta be a little careful, but anything you do is reversible. So if the way that the cells shift when you delete them changes your table and makes it, um, kind of messes it up, then just control Z, undo, and then try something else. I find that for this table, shifting cells left works. So if I hit okay, they're all gone. Sometimes nothing will happen. So really just test it out, see what works. Uh, it's just like Excel. If you use Excel, you should be familiar with that. So that is it. I hope that you guys found this video useful. If you did, just please give me a like and check out my playlist in Word for more like this. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me and see what I've been working on, check out my explainer video channel.